Welcome back to my channel. This is Sugar from Sugar in the Attic Homestead. This morning I just took the barbecued beef out of the crock pot. We put in all the ingredients yesterday if you remember. Check that video right before this one and you'll see all the ingredients that we used. It was a simple crock pot barbecue beef recipe. The holiday is here. It's Labor Day weekend soon and I thought I would go ahead and make this. This is going to be for a friend of mine. I'm dropping it by today because she just doesn't cook. Uh, she definitely doesn't barbecue and this will be a quick and easy meal for her and probably multiple meals and she might be able to even freeze some. I put some sliced potatoes around with a little bit of dehydrated parsley on there but as you can see the peppers and onions are in there the barbecue sauce like a, it's just so tender when I was getting it out of the crock pot it almost fell apart this is a main meal for a large family a small family that they can divide it it doesn't take many ingredients it doesn't take much work and that's the type of crock pot meal I like. You put everything in and you just go to sleep and in the morning it's done. And you take it out, you can have it for your family or you can share with a friend that may not be able to cook or just might not cook. Don't forget the people in your area or your friends or family. Times are challenging right now. If possible, if you're making a large batch of food, share with those people. They may be fine. Uh, they may not need any help, but it's always nice to have someone bring a meal to your front door, even if you don't need it, to make sure that you share what you have. And in the times to come, we all may be doing this, and so they might remember, they probably will, they will remember that you shared with them a meal for the evening. It might come just in time when they have returned from work or they're stressed out about something and they just need a break. It might be that they don't have anything for that night and they haven't said anything to anyone and you show up with a meal. Again, I'll be taking this to a friend. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's very early in the morning. Um, this will be a main meal. I'll try to pick up some other sides, maybe a bag of salad or some rolls. Uh, and, and they have cutlery and, and plates, things like that, so you, I don't need to worry about that. But I always try, if I deliver a meal, I deliver a full meal, something I would want to sit down and eat. You've got meat, vegetables, you have uh, maybe a side salad. If you want, you can pick up a bottle of dressing, maybe even a dessert. Maybe you're making a whole lot of brownies or a, cupcakes or whatever. Put extras in there, and then that way, they just don't have to worry about a meal for, for one time, for one day. They may have to stretch it to three or four meals. If you found this video helpful, and maybe some of the hints that I brought up today, something you might use for your family and friends, or maybe it's a, a senior that is having a hard time, drop off a meal to them. If you are enjoying my videos, consider subscribing, and when you do, hit that, that bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos that are coming up. I appreciate you stopping by. In the comments below, let me know if you make extra or when you have extra, if you're making meals for someone else, what do you make them? Give everyone ideas on recipes to put in the crock pot maybe that you're sharing with other people of course, and your family, but sharing with other people. Thank you so much again for stopping by, 
and I'll see you in the next video.